Pat Crawley, a long-standing symbol of the entertainment world, captures the hearts of audiences with her timeless charm. She goes beyond just acting, leaving a lasting impression on many. Share your favorite memories or personal encounters with this beloved actress in the comments below. Get ready for interesting stories, some funny, some surprising, and some sad. An actress from Hollywood, Pat Crowley, played a big role in the film industry during her time and even afterward. She influenced movies and the way things worked both on and off the screen. She was really good at acting and could play all sorts of characters, which made people admire her a lot. She didn't just stick to one type of role, showing that she was versatile. This inspired others to do the same. Besides acting, she also worked to make sure actors and actresses were treated fairly. She wanted everyone to have a good experience working in the industry. Her efforts helped make Hollywood more diverse and fairer for everyone involved. Even though she's not here anymore, her work still matters a lot in the film world. People still look up to her as an example of how to do things right in Hollywood. In short, Pat Crowley made a big difference in Hollywood both in her time and even now. Her talent, professionalism, and efforts for fairness left a lasting impression on the industry. Actress Pat Crowley's father, Vincent Crowley, passed away when she was young due to a heart attack in New York on January 22, 1961. She and Ed Hookstratton had a son named John, born on May 5, 1958, and a daughter named Anne, born on December 21, 1960. They met during the filming of Hollywood or Bust in 1956. At that time, Ed was acting in Kiss Me, Kate on stage in Los Angeles. These moments in Pat Crawley's life were important. Losing her father was hard, but her family grew when she had two kids with Ed Hookstratton. Meeting Ed during the making of Hollywood or Bust was a special part of her life. Pat Crawley's life story blends personal and professional experiences. It shows how life events like losing a loved one or starting a family can shape someone's journey. It was in December of 2005, Pat Crowley and her husband, Handy Friendly, were passengers on a flight from Los Angeles to Honolulu. During the journey, a 37-year-old Mexican passenger started behaving erratically, posing a threat to others on board. Handy Friendly was among those who assisted in restraining the unruly passenger using plastic handcuffs. In 1953, Pat Crowley was featured in the Deb Star publication. Later, she played the role of Marge in the film Send Me No Flowers. This role was significant as it led to her portrayal of Joan Nash in the TV series Please Don't Eat the Daisies in 1965, following Doris Day's appearance in the film adaptation four years earlier. Pat Crowley's involvement in these incidents showcases her ability to handle challenging situations and her contributions to the entertainment industry. The actress faced immense pressure to stay young throughout her career. Like many in the entertainment industry, she encountered significant struggles beyond the spotlight. She navigated the demands of maintaining a youthful appearance while balancing the realities of aging. The pressure to conform to societal standards of beauty and youthfulness weighed heavily on her, influencing her decisions and experiences. She confronted the constant scrutiny of her appearance with expectations to defy aging being ever-present. This pressure often led to internal battles and external efforts to meet these standards. Despite her talent and accomplishments, she faced challenges in a world that often prioritizes youth over experience. Beyond the superficial pressures of the industry, she also grappled with personal struggles common to many. She faced the complexities of relationships, the uncertainties of career choices, and the inevitable hurdles of life's journey. These struggles, though not always visible to the public eye, shaped her experiences and contributed to her growth as an individual. Despite the challenges she faced, she persevered, demonstrating resilience and determination in pursuing her passions. She navigated the complexities of life with grace, facing each obstacle with courage and resolve. Her journey serves as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, one can find strength and purpose. In conclusion, her life reflects the universal struggles of balancing societal pressures, personal challenges, and the pursuit of authenticity. Her story is a testament to resilience and the human spirit's ability to endure and thrive despite adversity. Starting her career at a young age, Pat Crowley, the daughter of Helen and Vincent Crowley, a mine foreman, began modeling when she was just 11 years old. Her journey in the entertainment industry was closely linked with that of her younger sister, Anne Crawley, who pursued singing and acting. Together, they navigated the world of showbiz, each finding their own path. 
Pat's early experience as a model hinted at her future in front of the camera, paving the way for her later successes in acting. Despite her modest beginnings, she made significant progress in the industry, leaving a lasting impact on those who saw her work. Starting her acting journey in New England during her teenage years, Pat Crowley performed in summer stock theater alongside her sister Anne, who shared the same passion for acting and music. Throughout her career, she showcased versatility by taking on various roles, including that of a wife on popular television shows like Friends and The Closer. In Friends, she played the spouse of John Bennett Perry's character, reprising a similar role as Perry's partner in The Closer. Notably, Crowley was part of the esteemed circle of friends of actor John Forsyth. She appeared alongside him and other notable actors such as R.G. Armstrong, Lloyd Boxner, Ricardo Montalban, Peter Richman, Richard Anderson, Charlton Heston, and Barbara Stanwyck in various productions. Her ability to bring depth and authenticity to characters made her a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Her performances on both stage and screen left a lasting impression on audiences and fellow actors alike. She remains a notable figure in the industry, and her work continues to be remembered and appreciated. During a career spanning over five decades, Pat Crowley tied the knot with Ed Hookstratton, a prominent figure in show business. He represented big names such as Elvis Presley, Dan Rowan and Dick Martin, Joey Bishop and Johnny Carson. In the entertainment world, he managed major news anchors like Brian Gumbel, Tom Brokaw, Tom Snyder and Jessica Savage. In sports, his clients included Vin Scully, Dick Enberg, Phyllis George, Merlin Olson, Harry Collis, Dick Stockton, Pat Haddon, Marcus Allen, and Don Meredith. Pat Crowley's spouse made a significant impact on the entertainment industry, representing a diverse range of talents across various fields. Throughout her extensive career, her partnership with him undoubtedly influenced her journey in show business, contributing to her success as an actress. A little-known fact about Pat Crawley is that she went through a terrible house fire. It was a devastating event where she lost her home and suffered a lot personally. This event really affected her life, showing her how fragile things can be and how important it is to cherish time with loved ones. Even though it was tough, she showed she was strong and kept going with her career. The fire didn't just take her things, it also tested her emotions and strength. It reminded her that life can be unpredictable and we have to be ready for tough times. After the fire, she worked hard to rebuild her life, showing how determined she was. Pat Crowley's story shows us that even when life is hard, we can keep going and find hope, which is something many people can relate to. It's a story of strength and courage that can inspire anyone who hears it, reminding us to keep pushing through tough times.